You all right? So we're at Weatherby Services. Um, just watching Bobby, the Real Honest Truths video about Decker Heggy. Um, and Decker says, uh, he says, uh, get the train to mine tonight or tomorrow I'll meet you somewhere and let's, let's fuck outside. We'll have sex outside somewhere. Uh, can I really put this on the start of a vlog about for the love of wrestling? Well, no, just no, I'll have to use this separately, won't I? He's basically talking about <laughs> Hold on. going. He's, he says, he says, I'll, I'll piss on you, right? I'll put you in there. I'll put you. Uh, we'll have sex outside, and I'll piss all over you. Chrissy went, oh, I, I just piss all over us. Oh, I in the middle of a field. I were no shower in that. So all I got from that is Chrissy would let Decker piss on her if there was a shower nearby. But that's not what I that's said. That's that is what you said. No, and she not. took it ever so personally. I said, he's not talking to you. And she was like, well, I, I wouldn't. He's violent. I was like, well, that's not what you just said. I just mean he hasn't thought about anybody else in the situation. He only cares about his personal Isn't pleasure. Isn't pissing on somebody about degrading them, though? Yes, that's all he cares about. So then, oh, you know the, the hotel at night, by the way. Yeah. To go to shower. <laughs> I don't want pissed on. <laughs> Follow me, only fans. <laughs> So far, just one more to do, which is Matt Riddle. What time is Matt Riddle back off his lunch? Half past. Half past three. It's good this late. Like. Seeing some pals down here as well. Shout out, Nana. Anything special? <laughs> no, thanks, Matt. Oh. Look at this. The doors at any always open, Chrissy. The doors at any always open. Cheers. Look at this, people. We're balling. This is what a nine pound road looks like. Why is it nine pounds to go on this road? <laughs> Saves you 10 minutes. Why are you only doing 60? I don't know. There's nothing on the road. You've slowed down. <laughs> We're paid to have nothing on the road. It's meant to save you time. And you're going fucking slower. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> there really is. Live on a highway. It costs nine bucks! Chrissy's nearly crying! 
crying. <laughs> we have arrived. Yeah. That's cool. Can't fit it all in. It's a big drag in that. So these burgers from the film then? No. No. <laughs> Is that from the film? No. No. I'm confused. Got these digital guides, pretty good. I mean, might, might as well be in Russian because I've never seen a Harry Potter film. Um, <laughs> Let's push together. A round of applause for my birthday helpers, and you want to come on in because this is the Great Hall of Hogwarts, one of the very first sets that have been built for the films. And as soon as you come in, you will certainly notice it is also one of our largest. Again, this looks really cool, but I don't know what any of it is. Is this a meth lab? <laughs> Same, essentially the same, same thing. Same thing. What's that like a big chicken or something? <laughs> it's called Buck Peak, you idiot. It's called what? Buck Peak. Buck Feet. Buck Peak. Who? It's a hypocrite. It's a hypocrite. Hippogriff. Hippogriff. Hippo griff. Oh, a hippogriff. I went to school one of them. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. That's my second favourite one. How's that? Harry Potter in the same train carriage, but this time it's got different crisp packets on it. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Stop taking the mix. Why? Are you sure? Making a video? Where have they got the sticker wood here? And he's want anything from the cart while I'm here. I don't know what's happening. But apparently that's what they're saying this bit. There's a train thing. Do we wave, Chrissy? Are you having fun? Always. Considering I'm not a Harry Potter fan, and I haven't seen I've only seen one of the films and I thought it was shit, but I watched the second last one which apparently is the worst one. I'm still genuinely having fun here. It's good crack. There's a, there's a you know, the, the Harry Potter train. That's what it's called. Just there. Just there. Good crack. So here we are now, we're outside in what looks like two detached houses. Or are they semi-detached? Semi-detached technically, aren't they? Oh, you can go in the houses. There's a bus. Don't know what that is. And then there's that. No idea what's happening. Right, Christopher, what's this? Butter beer. Butter beer. So it's, it's butter and beer. I can't drink it if it's beer. It's not actual beer. It's selling it to kids. Oh, they're selling it to kids? Start them young. Yeah, but I knew this kid from Battle Hill called Dicky, and he used to sell tack to kids, so. It's all right, it's very sweet. Mm. Don't look at the heat on. Freezing. Find us the doors right open. Yeah. So we can't go up the stairs either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's good though. There's a, there's a fake plant that moves up Fake plant. Oh, DK. He's fresh. Who's this? Alright. 
Diagon Alley, this, I know what this is. Went to school, went to school with them. Now with this Chrissy, this is an establishing shot. Look at that look. Look at them two cunts just walking in the front of it. Pricks, get me away. Just hate people. Look at look at that little freak down there. Can help me establish and shot, you little rat? Oh I I'll just sit there all day. <laughs> ah! Cheers everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Off the call. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Every time that gets me. <laughs> Nicky's here. Frosty's here. Wagwan. Just uh, prepping the daily deck. I'm going to have to go to the room in a second and do a show. Because he's been on the uh, what's that? Pan juice. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Nando's really sponsored by, um, you know, when you get the chilies because you eat here all the time. So we've got these free to try. These are the new spicy ones. Just got a bit of sauce on me on my finger and put it in my mouth. And it's blown me fucking face off. What they're called? Smoky summit. Yeah. Same thing as always. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. Forget how nice it is down here. It's uh, Craig's food vlog time. So he's got a pizza, some chips, uh, halloumi fries, and um, them chicken things. Gail's not having anything. Um, <laughs> I've got a salad. Rachel's, Rachel's nearly finished the lasagna. This makes me look like an alcoholic. That's my drink, the empty pint of coke. Get down, you lad. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Hey! Show me where the spoons do me. Give me the problem, child. Rich will be free. Just having a little catch up, it's nice. These are all getting mullered. I'm on the cork. Not that kind of cork, not not the empty pockets. Really? Cheers, everyone. No, hold on, yeah, oh, hold on. Right. Action! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Breakfast. I'm gonna make mine healthier. There we go. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning. Monday morning, so Sunday night. Um just gonna have to get this in now, been editing the vlog for the last few hours. Um it's quite a, a quite a long vlog, isn't it? There's quite a few bits in it. Um one of the most one of the biggest edits I've done in a long time, actually, which made me think, I don't make proper videos anymore, do I? I'm just live all the time. And, uh, I don't, I, I don't, uh, that's not what I want to do. That's really, really, really not what I want to do. So I'm going to start and make more videos. Um, not for the vlog channel, just one a week for the vlog channel. Um, I might put some form of podcast on this channel at some point. Um, a serious podcast. Not sure what the what the angle of that would be though. Um, I think what would be cool is if I got some of my friends that aren't on YouTube, just one at a time and just sit and have a conversation with them. Um, it's been a good week. It's been a very good week. Um, as you can see, I went in for the love of wrestling. Got on my toy signed. There's me. There's me Trish Stratus one. That and me Enzo Amore one are my two favourites. Sergeant Slaughter as well, fucking buzzing. Really, really, really good day. Um, don't know if you noticed in the video, but uh, all the all the boisterousness of his drops out when I meet my heroes. I'm just like, hello, will you sign this? Mm, hello. <laughs> now, I've had a few comments um, 
since I came on YouTube because I've never never hid the fact that I quite like wrestling. And um, a lot of people say stuff like, oh, what do you watch wrestling for? It's like, well, I enjoy it. You know what I mean? What do you want us to say? Uh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll not watch that anymore. I'll, I'll watch what you enjoy instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's just a TV program. That's all it is. It's a TV program for entertainment. And uh, it's fun. It's genuine, just, just childish, daft fun. Um, which I think a lot of people forget to have these days. You know what I mean? It's just a couple hours a week where I can just forget about being an adult and just just have a laugh. You know what I mean? Just doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's not meant to. It's not a fucking documentary. It's just entertainment. Anyway, then I went to go and see. Um, I went the Harry Potter thing on Monday with Chrissy. That was part of Chrissy's pre- Christmas present of me. Um. Quite not experience for me because I've never seen a Harry Potter film. So essentially what was happening, I was walking around for five hours looking at sticks in glass cabinets. Um, going, oh, what's that? Oh, is that Dobby? Oh, Coach D.I. Oh, it's Dobby. Um, I still enjoyed it though. Um, a lot more than I would have done if I wasn't sober either. So what else has gone on? Um, what's happening on YouTube? Well, it's Sunday, so Decker's vanished. Decker's vanished. Um, there's a rumour going around. So today's Mother's Day, by the way. Shout out to everybody with a mom. Oh, go on, show off because your mums are alive on Facebook. Ooh, look at me and me mom. She's alive. Um, no, nah, I'm not better or anything. No, but... Um, so... It's Mother's Day. So you would presume that Decker... And he's 27 brothers and sisters, or however many of them there is. Um, and he's 200 nieces and nephews that he talks about have gone out for Mother's Day, you would think. But he had a live schedule at 2 o'clock. Now, by far 4, I kept chatting, checking back in the chat. And there were still people waiting for Mother. I will phrase that. There were still people sitting in the chat, just sitting, slagging them off at half 4. Um, and he hadn't turned up for the live. And it was rumoured in that chat that his house had been smashed up again. And then somebody else said, no, I've spoken to him. He's just gone out for Mother's Day. Okay, fair enough. But then there was a members only live scheduled for 7 o'clock. I was in NA tonight from 6.30 to late. So I'm not looking at my phone or anything. And the first thing I did when I came out is uh, I went in the group chat and I went, did Decker turn up for that live tonight? Nope, 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 nope. So this thing where uh, he's been charging people Two pounds to enter. Well, you've got to become a member. It's two quid. And to start with, you got the chance of winning a hundred pound. And he was going to do a hundred pound draw on Saturday night. He put that back to Sunday night. This morning, he'd put the um the prize down from the. Pri- I'm going to sneeze. I'm okay, I'm okay. On Sunday, he put the prize down. Sunday morning, he put the prize down from £100 to £325. So, to the people that have entered a competition at two quid, at the chance of winning 100 quid, that's not a bad deal, is it? (laughs) Especially if there's only 30 or 40 other people you're up against, you've got a pretty good chance of winning £100. When it goes down to £25, it's like, I don't know... Is anybody really entering a competition to win twenty five pounds? So that that's a con straight away, and um, but then he just hasn't done the draw at all. So, God knows what's going on. Another theory I said in the group chat. I said, perhaps he's been arrested for the Scotland thing. We still don't know what's going on with that. Um, but time will tell, as it always does. We'll find out probably tomorrow, tomorrow night. I think he's got something else scheduled, and um, he's gone from not being on YouTube at all to um, coming back on to make one video, to not being off it now. I mean, he's, he's ever, I can't remember what day it was last week, was it Wednesday? That he went live for the first time, or Thursday? One of those days anyway, and he's been on at least once a day since then. Except for today, he's disappeared today. But he hasn't um, deleted the lives or anything, they're still there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, what else? Scotty J, it's been brought to my attention this afternoon, Scotty J's gone missing again. Um, I haven't checked actually I've been that hectic this week I've watched next to nothing on YouTube I've done that I've done that absolute bare minimum I've done 
the stuff that I need to watch to prepare for the Daily Decker show. We watched Viking Samurai's fight. I didn't even have time to watch today, so I was like, we'll watch it on the live tonight. So I had the um, Sunday Night Live, which is Hedgehog Man and Friends, just me and me pals off YouTube sitting have a bit crack on. So whilst we're talking, we'll watch the Viking Samurai fight. That was a complete sham, absolute embarrassment. Um, just terrible, just terrible. I don't think he's done a day's boxing training in his life, and neither the other kid. Um Not only was there no footwork, no head movement, there was, pardon me, there was no punches. Normally, sorry, um, normally if there's if if two untrained fighters are fighting, which I've seen plenty of time, it you know it um it unlicensed events and whatnot, they were at least throwing punches at each other or something that looks like punches, but this just looked I don't know what the fuck it was. People are saying who choreographed this and whatnot. There was nothing even choreographed about that. It was just crap. Total waste of time with head guards. Total waste of space. What else? Um, oh. Just got these delivered yesterday. Got another two copies of Decker's books. So for those of you who don't know, at, um, at Christmas time, I put Decker's book in paperback, in hardback, on videocraig.com, available for sale. Signed by me, um, is a bit of a joke. And um, what what I do is I buy them second hand, and then I sign them, and then I send them off to whoever's bought them. You know, whatever you want written on there, I'll do it. And um, I checked the the account, the the, the online shop account the other day, because I've not been promoting it because I'm I'm looking to rebrand it all and everything. And um, I was very 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 surprised to see that um that people are still buying them now. So there's another two there. I'm going to get those signed and get those out this week. So if you bought them, they're on the way. Um, and if you want to buy one, they're there. Um, it's a laugh. Like I say, it's a, it's a good way of doing it as well because it, um, well, like it, it, it supports the channel. Um, you know what I mean? It's uh, the money, everything that, basically everything I make on this channel goes towards it. Whether that's something to go in the background um, or I want a new camera and stuff like that. So it's it's all good. It's all good shit. Um and not the best thing about it is Decker doesn't get a penny from it because they're second hand. Right, what else? Come on, Craig, talk, think about something. Um I genuinely don't have much to say tonight. I'm in a really I will say this, so I'm in a really, really, really good place. I've had a really good week. Um I've been tired for the first time. I've been really tired in the first time in a long time. Um because going to, for went to Manchester for the love of wrestling, and then the day after I went to London, um, we met Frosty and Nicky when we were in London, and I'm bumping into some friends of mine in Manchester at the, at the wrestling event, some friends from up here that I didn't even know were going, so that was class. Um, and then Tuesday we travelled back up. By the time I got up on Tuesday night, I was absolutely fucking shattered. Um... Tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to Leeds with Simon. I'm gonna well, I'm not going with Simon. I'm gonna meet Simon in Leeds. Um, we're gonna have the day in Leeds, and then Tuesday morning, no, sorry, Tuesday afternoon, I go into hospital. I've got a abdominal hernia, so I'm gonna get that um an operation on that, which I've been waiting for for a while. I'd put it off originally. Um, I got told by the doctor it's quite a painful thing to go through the healing and whatnot. Um, but it, it just keeps getting slightly bigger and slightly bigger and slightly bigger. And um, I need that part of myself sorted out so I can start, you know, when it heals, going to the gym and being able to do everything and stuff like that. Um, I just want to get healthy. Uh, well, healthy. Uh, um, I've never felt better than I feel today. I've never been happier than I feel today. I was saying this in the NA meeting earlier on as well. It's um, Life's getting really, really, really easy. Now, so I said at the start of this video that I want to start making more videos and what I've been thinking is is because of the healing on, on my stomach I've been told to basically not to, well, to take it totally, totally easy not do anything really for a week other than sit around the house so that gives me a week in the house and one, one thing I've never done since I came on YouTube I've never ever ever made it the main thing in my life that might surprise you but I'm only on the deck a daily an hour, and then I only do two or three nighttime streams for two hours. And as you can see from the vlog, I'm always out and about doing something. So what I'm going to do is for the next week, 
starting on Tuesday, well, starting on Wednesday, I'm going to devote that week at least to YouTube and I'm going to make videos for the main channel about other creators, not Decker, and try and see how far I can take this thing um, on YouTube. I've got all of the skills now that, you know what I mean? Like, um, I always had the editing skills. Um, I know how to set this equipment up so stuff looks good like this. I mean, even right now, I'm only using my phone as a camera, but, um, and I'm using obviously a mic in the, in the podcaster desk. Um, but I, my skills have gotten, to have gotten sharper with editing, but they were pretty good anyway. I used to edit for some massive channels. Um, but I think that my presenting skills now are 10 times better than they were when I started. Um, but it's, you know, it's it's like anything in it. The, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And I've been doing it for well, five hours broadcasting, streaming a week on the deck of daily, two hours twice a week on night owls. So that's nine. And then the the Sunday night, I do 10 hours a week streaming, um, which is a lot. But it's not, that's not doing it 40 hours a week. It's not doing a full-time job, is it? So I'm going to still do those 10 hours of streaming. But as soon as the Decker Daily finishes on a weekday, I'm going to straight away start making a video. Even if I don't get a video finished a day, I will, I will have been working on a video all day. I want to do some long form of content. A lot of my videos on the main channel have been between three and five minutes long normally. I want to aim for about 10 minute videos um, and make them as as visually and as visually good as I can and as entertaining as I possibly can. And like I say, um, do some stuff about much, much, much bigger creators and Decker. Now, I know I'm not going to get traction on that straight away. I know how YouTube works. I know that I have a core audience, probably the people watching this now, that are still watching this at this point in the video, speaking to you. I know you guys will probably watch anything that I put out, and I appreciate that. Um, there are certain people that only watch Night Owls. There are certain people that only watch the Decker stuff. There are certain people that only watch the Brett May stuff when I was doing a bit of stuff about Brett May or Shadowboxer, people like that. So no, not everybody's going to, going to watch the new content that's already on my subscribers list. But I'm not going to be disheartened if I only get two or 3,000 views on the first video. I'm going to keep going until the audience grows. And if I can spend the next week making videos to do that and I see any form of results from it <laughs> then chances are i'll get addicted to that again um i'll get it you know that'll be something else i get addicted to and that's how i would really ideally like to spend me me weeks for the next let's say three months i think i think three months is a good gauge on whether or not it'll work or not i've done many 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 things in my life that i've been very successful at but i've done many things in my life that you won't be aware of where I've tried and they haven't worked, but I, with everything that I do, you always pick up, especially with this kind of stuff, you always pick up new skills and stuff like that, so it's never a waste of time, you know what I mean? Even so far as, like, I used to rap, and I got I got a little record deal, but then that, the label I was signed to, gave me the connections to be able to do a lot of other things in the music industry, and all of the money I made from the music industry really came from the connections I made rapping, not the rapping, um, and if something like that could well happen with this, do you know what I mean? Not necessarily connections wise, but I don't know. I might get picked up to present for another channel. And um, I might get picked up, I'm, I'm saying picked up as an editor for another channel. Although Decker was offering £450, wasn't he? To uh, as a full time wage. Jesus Christ almighty. I don't know what. Like, well, he's just got a complete lack of life experience, hasn't he? Who and It's not even minimum wage. It's against the law to employ somebody for £450 a month in this country. He's absolutely clueless when it comes to the real world. £450 gee, for a month wage as an editor. Good Lord. Good Lord. Right, anyway, that's me. I'm going to bounce this down, get it uploaded, get out 6pm Monday. Um which is when you'll be watching this now. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Uh, Daily Decker is normal. Enjoy. Enjoy. Fucking dick. I'm not drinking piss, by the way. This is um, one of these things. You know the vitamin C things that you put in your drink? And I've got me... Uh, multivitamins good god i'm turning into terracotta right we'll call that a night there anyway oh the other thing as well 
I'm uh, in about an hour's time. The clock ticks over on my sober counter. I'll be 85 days sober. So in five days' time, it'll be time to get another one. Another one of these from any. My 90 day one, that's a just for today. Whoops, just dropped it on the floor. It's a 30 day one. Yeah, that's a 60 day one. It'll be 90 days. It's flown over. Time is going so fast at the moment. It's absolutely fucking mental how quickly time's going. But I'm having a good time, so it doesn't matter, does it? Right, see you next week. Good night.